case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1972, the Arizona Court of Appeals heard the case of County of Maricopa v. Walsh and Oberg Architects, Inc., which focused on the idea that damages for breach of construction contracts are generally awarded based on the reasonable cost of construction and completion, according to the contract. However, if economic waste would result from such application, damages may be awarded based on the difference in value between the completed building and the actual value of the building as constructed. The County of Maricopa sued Walsh and Oberg Architects, Inc. for not following the impermeable concrete specification when building a new county complex. The specified caulking material failed, causing chemical corrosion and resulting in cracks and leakage. The court found in favor of the county and awarded them damages of $107,358. However, the county appealed the amount awarded, arguing that the court applied the wrong rule to measure the damages. Upon review, the court agreed that the cost of repair rule would cause economic waste, given the hefty cost of removing and replacing the landscaping to fix the issue. Evidence showed that the cracking and leakage problems were due to the specified caulking material and a substance called antihydro, which contained calcium chloride. This substance caused chemical corrosion of the aluminum conduits in the concrete, leading to further cracks and leaks. Ultimately, the court affirmed the trial court's judgment and denied the County of Maricopa's appeal. The court concurred that applying the repair cost rule would result in economic waste and instead awarded damages based on the value difference between the contract compliant building and the actual constructed building. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.